Hello and welcome back. I have started my last rotation of the semester. I'm in emergency medicine, which is my elective. And um, it's been a little bit rough because my first week there I was doing night shifts then I switched to days. And, um, and now I'm going back to night shift this upcoming week. So I guess this will be like a day in the life. Not a day in the life. <laughs> A week in the life kind of situation and yeah today is my day off so I just got to the gym gonna get in a quick workout with Steven and I don't know what else I have planned for the day I need to study at some point because I have my end of rotation exam and then we have a summative exam too so let's see if we're productive I do have my nail appointment at two o'clock too and yeah so Let's see where this week takes us. in two weeks technically like we have our graduation ceremony so yesterday I took some graduation pics with my friend and I feel chunky chunky but anyways I'm also going on a cruise the week after the semester ends and it'll be around my birthday time so I feel like I need to slim down really fast in two weeks. Can we do it? Probably not, but we're gonna try. Exhausted. I feel like I could use a nap. I know I'm gonna get shy for it, but I'm not going to nap. I'm not going to. I'm gonna have some coffee and I'm gonna stay strong for now. Alright, so it is 1.45 and I have to get going to my nail appointment that's at 2 o'clock and I'm gonna return some things from Amazon to UPS. I'll probably stop by my parents' house. Not really sure. Oh, because I need to get something from them. And I will come back to nap. I want to nap because since I work night shift tomorrow, I want to try and stay up as late as possible to sleep in tomorrow morning. You know? So I will check in with you guys later once I finish my nails. I have this like, I don't know, minty green color. I think I'm going to do pink. All right. and make some stuff for some tacos. Just got back from Publix. Um, I got some ingredients to make some tacos. I just got like this hankering to make tacos. I had like an hour and a half nap. So hopefully I will be, you know, able to stay awake a little later to help adjust to that night shift life. Today I've kind of just been a blob. Um, at Publix, I just got like the organic ground beef. Some sour cream, I got a tomato and onion and some cheese for the top because I already have tortillas, 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 and some spinach for the top. And I re-upped on milk for a smoothie. Being a night shift this week, I probably will not, um, no, I, I probably, I won't be cooking. I'll make like breakfast and stuff in the morning. But other than that, I don't make any other food. 
because I eat at the hospital. Since at the hospital I'm at, the PAs, doctors, and nurse practitioners, they get fed for, for the free free. So I get that advantage being a PA student. So let's get to cooking. So I air fried the soft shell tacos or whatever. And I don't know, it kind of seems like it was a great idea. Let's see. That was a good idea. Air fry your soft. Tortillas. Mm -hmm. You know see. what we need? Uh -huh. Those things to Yeah, I know. What do you think about my... Oh, that crunch though. Thumbs up? <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs down? That's what I do. You're not gonna give me a thumbs up? Good morning or good afternoon. It's Tuesday 1 15 and I woke up not that long ago So we're gonna get ready for the day or our evening actually and I don't know what I have planned right now. I want to eat I want to be ambitious and maybe get like an at-home workout in I haven't worked out prior to a night shift. So I'm afraid that it'll bring me down so we're still contemplating that. And yeah. I, don't, I usually don't drink my coffee till four. Just so I can have that like burst of caffeine early on into the shift. And then maybe mid shift I get another coffee. But I think I'm going to start with a matcha latte. Oh my god. My Apple watch wasn't charging. Alright, anyways, let's go make some breakfast. Quick little snack, a grapefruit, a banana, and some matcha. Um, I'll eat something bigger once it's time to head out. Alright, it is 4 o'clock, 4.04. I have to start heading out. Um, I need to go get gas first, and my rotation is about 30 minutes away. So, gotta go. Get to go. Um, I didn't do much in between the last time I checked in, but anyways, these are the scrubs I'm wearing. These are the Pop Red Figs with just some black Ultra Boost Adidas. Those are a little gift baskets I'm going to give to the kids um, this weekend for Easter. And yeah, let's get this day started. And... Meh. The semester has been very long. I've had long hours in every rotation and we're kind of at the point that you know senioritis I guess you can say I don't know I have three months left of PA school and I'm kind of just like racing to the finish line I'm grateful to be here and I'm grateful for this journey because I remind myself of how often I wanted to be in this position but as a human and like everybody else you know we always want to be doing something that we're not and like now I'm at that point where I'm like, I just want to be a PA already, doing my own thing with my own routine. But nevertheless, I have, I think it's three weeks left of the semester. And then I have a nice little vacation. And then my last semester of PA school, it's just, it, also I feel like it's kind of funny because we have our graduation ceremony in two weeks. And it's like such a teaser, like why are we celebrating our graduation when we still have three months left? But I don't know if other programs do that, if that's a common thing or if that's just my program. I don't know. 
And do other students feel like, you know, as they're getting closer to the end of their program, are they kind of like ready to just let loose and be free? And they feel this blahness that I'm describing? Because I hope I'm not the only one. If I am, shut your eyes up. I'm just kidding. <sighs> Stand still traffic, even though the light is green. That's Miami for you, babe. In the ER, is I get there, the shift starts at 5 p.m. I wait for my preceptor to get there and he logs into the computer, looks at the waiting room list, at what's going on, what is pending, or what cases were assigned out to him by another PA. And we go in and we assess them and see them put orders in. So either I'll go interview the patient by myself, tell him what we're gonna order, or we'll go together. He'll get a quick brief history. He already has an idea of what he thinks the patient has. And he goes and puts orders in and leaves me in there to ask more questions, do a physical exam, stuff like that. Um, I've done laceration repairs, incision and drainage, a lot of pelvic exams. I've gotten so much better at them. And um, I've seen a lot of fractures, a lot of upper respiratory, gastroenteritis, um, infections, a little bit of everything, honestly. So hopefully the night shift goes by relatively fast. The first week that I did night shift, the shifts were going by extremely fast. Um, it was really busy, so I hope it continues like that this week, just so the days go by fast. And you're not like dragging booty hole there, you know? I just realized I didn't have coffee. Ugh. Okay, it's fine. I'll get one when I get to the hospital. Wednesday I think it is anyways I am on my way to the hospital it's 4 30 yesterday I got home like around almost 5 45 I left a little bit late and I was just so tired and okay so I woke up like at 11 30 because I was starving and I made myself a quick little breakfast and then I went back to sleep and I woke up at three. I hate this. I hate this schedule. I feel so out of whack and control. But anyways, um, last night was a pretty good shift. It went by fast. I saw a lot of patients yesterday. The shift ended a little bit on the crazy side because almost at the time that we're leaving, a patient came in brought by EMS and needed to be intubated and the patient was just unstable so i assisted the doctor with the intubation process which was really cool um to to see done obviously not for the patient but we stabilized her and she was like on her way to health hopefully and yeah now we're there for day two It's day three, I'm exhausted officially. All right, so last night I got to, you kind of get to seeing a lot of the same things. Um, the really cool thing that I got to do, which I hadn't done before was reduce the shoulder. Um, I always thought I'd be kind of afraid to do them, but that was exciting. When we were trying to reduce it, it kept popping out. And I was like, am I doing something wrong? But it was just, you know, her anatomy. And saw someone else with like severe anemia. And 
I've been with like various preceptors in this ER. Like I get like, oh, go follow this person. Oh, go follow that person. Like, okay. And it's nice because I get to see everybody's different ways of medicine because medicine is not done the same by two people. Like, ge like a general t broadness, yes, it's done the same. But, you know, some people have their little tricks and tips to do different things. And so that's been good to pick up. So I'm just like a little sponge <laughs> absorbing it all. But hopefully this will be a good shift and I will be ready to go. Bus, I got my contacts on so you know I'm tired. And I'm heading out to Tampa in the morning with my family. So I will be hibernating the entire way up, which is just like four hours, but. Oh, I will check in with you guys. Maybe mid-shift, maybe not. If not, I will see you guys when I get out.